got into the woods here. I was a little skeptical at first, but I started, I just kept going in and I found this one spot and it didn't, it was a no-go where I was initially thinking. So I just kept coming up to this reservoir and there's spots, man, check it out. There's a little boat launch kind of dealy. Oh, and the sun's out. I just get lucky here, folks. This is an odd little spot here, but it's got that little thing. There's this little tiny spot over here I'm gonna go check out. It's kind of strange. It's like right off the road and dropped down and it's got its own little picnic table and campfire. I think I'm gonna check this out. As far as morels go, I don't think that's gonna happen, folks. There's still snow on the ground. It might. It, we got rain last night and it was snow up here, so uh, you never know. I'll, I'll get out there. I might head up the road just a little more and then I'm going to probably head back to that one spot because I don't see why not. Right on the water. And just got my fishing license this morning, so... Oakleys that I found down on the river, uh, the lenses were shot on them, and I'm having a hard time finding a replacement set for those. Uh, they seem to be like a custom Oakley Holbrook. It's a little bit smaller than the regular ones, so nothing lost, nothing gained. Being for some weather tonight, it's hard to say what it's going to do. I mean, I, I look it up the best I can, but out in the woods, it kind of does its own thing, and you can only look up like so close and then you get out here and you lose service and so I don't I don't have I don't know what it's gonna do I know man I just did a little little scoop bunch of garbage on the road surprise surprise I found this other little area where you can camp but you'd probably have to park a vehicle out by the road and then walk in too bad though. There's a whole lot of garbage around here. I'm not impressed. Look at this. Yeah, that's a, it's a Samsung battery from a cell phone. That's that's just wonderful being out in nature. And look, a Coleman propane tank. I'll be by the end of this I'm gonna have two giant bags of garbage. And the sad thing is, is it ain't enough. Filled her up again. It really doesn't take long. I'm, I might blow up my kayak and get out there. Do a little fishing. I'm getting pretty lucky here. It's actually a really nice afternoon. Anyway, I got my yakker blew up. Partially through it, I was like, gosh, do I even want to do this? But I blew it up. It's a pretty sweet little uh, advanced elements inflatable kayak you know it folds down into just kind of this smaller bag and uh, gets the job done you know it's almost kind of like a canoe so you've already seen some jumping along here this is a little reservoir so I'm guessing that it's probably just trout stock got this whole thing to myself out here there ain't a soul out here other than passing vehicles. I haven't had this thing out in years. There's a run out down here. I can hear it. Let's check that out. here to take the kayak to it looks like in the road that comes down here they have rocked off now it just got too too destroyed you know too uh, polluted but this used to be a little
camping area over here and I guess they've left it open to tent campers and whatnot. to a rainy morning. I guess that's better than snow. It's like upper 30s, so it wasn't too bad though last night. Nice and quiet. For a little hike this morning. <clears throat> There's some kind of some life starting to happen on this hillside, some flowers and stuff, but I'm definitely too early for morels, I think. It's quiet. It's rainy and it's about 40, but I don't know. It, it seems it's not too bad, probably because there's not that chilly wind and well, I'm gonna keep looking. Well, this might be a good sign. This is a, I believe this is a false morel. That's what they call these, because it kind of has that brain look, but it's certainly not a morel. Oh, there's another one there. But I think that's a good sign because, you know, they typically grow around the same area. So, yeah, they call those false morels. I mean, they got another name I'll look up in my mushroom book. Yeah, fires definitely came through here. Big ol' elk came through here. See that thing? It's a good size one. Just walking down the road. Yeah, it got hot through here. Yeah, if if they're not in this burned up sun facing hillside here then I think my timing's off a couple of weeks. I'm already about 15 miles into the woods here. No service. So I don't know if I wanna head any further. This looks like a decent spot here. I'm just gonna pop her up and be it. here. It's another false morale. And look at this, I'm not 100% sure. But I think these are wild asparagus. Just starting to pop up. Oh yeah, I mean that smells like asparagus. That's cool. That's wild asparagus right there. You mix that with some morels and a soup and it's probably one of the best things on earth. What is that? Oh wow. Right in the middle of another big old false morel. No good ones though. Well, what do you think? Should I try to get a fire going in there? Got a view right over there. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Well, that might be all, folks. I guess better luck next time. I'll try again in a week or two. Until next time.